Inside of today's video, we're going to be pushing a brand new Brawler Doug. We've already got him unlocked and we're going to be testing out him in 800 matchmaking straight away to give you guys a good understanding of whether he's strong or not. So, straight away, we can uh, we can max him out because, of course, we've got the, um, the credits saved up. We've got a credit saved up from uh, the Mastery. Uh, places and also the battle pass as well. Sorry, it's just so early in the morning. My brain is just confuzzled at the moment But a, a map like this should be pretty decent for Doug even though he's not the strongest in a 1v1 I'm just gonna heal semantic up and that's actually a really strong mechanic to have healing up semantic with the gas heals as well But yeah, these guys just know what's coming because of course I have no range. That's the only thing Maybe I'm a little bit decent in support to my teammates, but in a 1v1 I can't really do too much, so I've got to back up and heal here. There's no point really spamming attacks on myself yet. May as well just heal up. May as well push Rolo forward a little bit here. Maybe it's a little bit awkward again. Trying to close the gap onto these guys because I haven't got any type of gadget or, uh, you know, like Jackie that can just fast forward really quickly. Going to be able to get the kill onto Fang. Semantic is doing his thing and he's going to be able to slot that into the corner. So that's going to be the first game. Let's hop into the next. All right, guys, jumping into the next game then. So... I think all things considered wasn't too bad in most matchups for Doug, but yeah, as I said, that Shelly just absolutely destroyed me. I'm, I'm really eager to see how he'll face off against, of course, the best brawlers in the game, Shelly and Cordelius. And that wasn't the greatest of stars. Of course, Doug isn't going to be the best of matchups against Shelly because, of course, she's a tank counter. So I'm going to try and keep Semantic uh, healed up here. We've still got a damage gadget to use in case, but we are muted. Yeah, this is... um. A little bit painful and we're going to be losing that game really quickly let's jump into the next one okay so jumping straight into the next game i you know i can't really go into any lane here like dynamite isn't going to be the best shelly isn't going to be the best i may as well just stick on the shelly to be honest because at least i could probably hide behind the walls with a di with dynamite again i can't really close the gap in a 1v1 so it's not really going to be the best for me semantic just absolutely claps to shelly i'm going to use my gadget here even though it wasn't to the best effect but we should be able to score here because we've got a super. That's going to be really good in walking the ball in. We're going to pass the hot dog to Semantic. He's going to die, but he's going to respawn, which is going to be <laughs> really a really broken mechanic to have. We're going to be able to get a lot of damage in here. Hopefully, I can get this hot dog over to Rolo, but we should be able to just score. Anyways, I think that's one thing that I was probably underrating a little bit, by the way, is the hot dog. You know, in those moments... It's going to be pretty good. But then again, you can kind of compare it to Willow. Like, the amount of times I self-score with Willow now, once people just learn the mechanics, it's very rare, right? So, I'm going to try and wiggle my way over to the Shelly. Any bit of grass, of course, it's going to really help me get up close and personal. Semantic is really weak here, so I've got to try and heal him up a little bit. Sometimes I forget I'm a healer because, of course, I think I'm running around like Jackie. Semantic is creating a lot of space, so it's time for us to try and utilize that shelly is just going to run into us and destroy us with that super dynamite again with the super this is just painful like it really is playing a brawler like this is just horrible unless i was kind of hoping that the map available was something like sneaky fields or center stage so at least i'll get a false idea of how strong this brawler would be but semantic he's carrying let's hop into the next one jumping into the next game and so i also forgot to mention that i'll be live on twitch grinding out doug i'm not trying to get at the first doug rank 35 in the world i'm just trying to get him rank 30 so at least i've got a good idea of how strong he is on the first day of course that's the most exciting thing about brand new brawlers and whatever else so hopefully we can break this shelly's ankles i was gonna say legs but that's probably a bit too harsh ankles is probably good enough for us I'm able to score that one. So now Shelly has super. I don't know how I'm supposed to defend myself against this. So I guess I'm just going to try and run away. Pass the ball over Semantic. He's going to be able to score. So that's going to be another game. Let's jump into the next one. Guys, jumping into the next game. So about 30 seconds late into the game. Of course, my software crashes. But at least you get to see what this game can entail. So of course, again, Shelly's going to be so painful. This is just why I think this is just not the meta for Doug. And why I'm saying he's trash. Because he's got to deal with... Shelly, like, how can I deal with this brawler? Hopefully, the double DPS can do something here. Cordelius as well. I just don't have the range to really fight with him. We're going to pop our super here just in case we do die. I'm actually going to get some value out of a super here, which is going to be pretty good. And I actually used it already as well. And it actually got me a kill just before I press the record button. So, at least there's some good value in the super. Unlike Willow, a lot of the time, at least it guaranteed it every single time. I'm just going to keep Rolo 
topped up with some extra HP here. I'm probably going to pop Gadget here to try and get some extra DPS and try and take these guys down. I'm going to be able to pop the Super Vote and get back into the action. And that's actually going to confirm us a double kill. Wow. I mean, this Super has potential to be broken, but I didn't think it would be that strong. I thought people would... Um, Smadzik. What? Bro. It is 8 a.m. in the morning. I can't have you doing this. I can't have you doing... Normally, it's Drage throwing the games for foot esports, but Smantic is doing it instead. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care. I'm only at, like, 24 trophies at the moment, but that was just that was just funny. That was funny. We'll just consider this game a win, right? Getting close to Super ourselves here. We've got to try and help out Rolo, keep him topped up with some heals. Nice a double kill from our teammates. Going to pass this over to Smantic. Hopefully, he can find the opportunity there. But we should be able to just slot this one in. But yeah, I should be grouping up with my teammates a lot more. I'm just scared because normally when you group up with your teammates, the value just goes really down. We're going to pass the super over to Smantic. Probably a little bit too preemptively. I just thought he was going to go extremely aggro in the moment. Doesn't really matter. We should be able to find the opportunity to score. Unfortunately, we don't do so. Now Cordelia is going to be painful going into uh, overtime. I think we do have a super though once overtime pops with Smantic. He's, wow, that Fang, that was an incredible save. That was actually really good. I rarely see Fang players make that good of saves, especially with a super, but my teammates should be able to get this really nice. Let's jump into the next one. Jumping into the next game, there's just a few more games away from ending a video and, of course, starting the live stream. Let's see how strong this Brawler really is. So we can just push up here with our extra healing. It's going to be pretty hard for these guys to really do too much. I'm trying to go back and heal Rolo, but then again, the bell shots aren't really helping us out too much. Got to get Rolo topped up to full HP, and I think Symantec literally got a double kill there. I mean, he's literally doing everything. I haven't, I think I did like two bits of damage to the opponents. Yeah, literally two. This guy is breaking ankles literally, so should be able to get Benita Bear down. Unfortunately, we're in a bit of a bad spot. Just... Uh, there's not many good matchups for us. It's all about trying to help our teammates out with their matchups. Maybe the other gadget could be better. I'm going to try and switch to that one. But then again, it might be pretty hard considering both Rolo and Spadzik are really weak. It might be hard to get the most value out of the healing. So when you're kind of rushing an opponent, your opponent, you may as well just spam your main attack. That's what I'm basically learning because I'm going to be healing off of that. As long as I've got enough ammo when I actually reach them, it's going to be pretty good. Spadzik. <laughs> Super in the ball back. Probably a little bit angry that this brawler does pretty much suck at the moment. We're going to use Gadget here to try and confirm ourselves a kill. We do get taken down in the meanwhile. That's going to allow us to waste a Nita stun as well. We're going to use a Gadget on this bell. But just can't confirm a kill. It's so hard to kill anyone with this brawler. It is pretty painful. I don't think he's maybe as bad as I thought to begin with. Because at least... In other games, I was doing something for my team, but I'm just worried against good players. How are you supposed to close the gap and do anything to them? Like, look at this. I can't even get close to this Nita without any sort of extra movement. So, uh, let's see if we can get our super in time. Oh, I just didn't place it in time, and that could have actually saved us a goal. Ah, oh, pain, 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 pain. Should have got some better ping, and I would have been able to pop my super in time. So, I'm just going to run at these guys, literally. And pop my super and try and recharge it in time. Instead, I'm just going to get absolutely destroyed. And I'm going to get stunned. Uh, just, uh, just... How are you supposed to do anything on a map when it gets opened up? Without, like, kind of team synergy. Maybe in the right composition, this brawler is going to be good. I just... Personally, I can't see it. I really can't see it. So, I'm going to run into the call here. Hopefully, we can get super in time. But do we actually manage to get the kill? Because, I mean, tanks are pretty decent against Carl. He doesn't have the DPS without his super... Smart is going to be able to score that. Wow, what an insane goal. What an insane goal. Let's hop into the final game. So jumping into one of the final games then. Let's really try and test him out some, against some good players. Normally you can kind of tell by the fame. They've got high fame. And I think I do recognize a few of these faces from ladders. So Smart is going to get muted, unfortunately. Pretty toxic brawler and Cordelius is having to face down the lane. But we're going to be able to push into these guys here. Trying to do something. Uh, just, I'm going to end up breaking my keyboard by the end of this push like people were trying to get me to push rank 35 on this brawler like how are you supposed to push rank 35 on this i'll be surprised if anyone's able to do it pretty quickly i'm gonna pop gadget here which should be good enough to confirm the kill which it is we're gonna be able to take down bruce bear i'm gonna throw it over the hot dog to rollo i thought he was gonna go in aggro there but kind of does run out so again 
it is pretty hard to um, always time the hot dog right. And again, we just get deleted. What can we actually do? At least with a brother like Jackie, you have Counter Crusher where I'm kind of used to in those situations at least getting a little bit of damage over to the opponents. But of course, that is not the case. Cordelius puts me into the realm, but it's not really going to do so much when we literally have walls here. But he's going to slowly recharge his super, which is a pretty annoying feature, by the way. We're going to be able to top up Rolo. And I've not switched the build, by the way, because I just firmly believe that it's going to be the best build, or else how on earth are you going to be able to confirm a kill? I just don't know. We're going to be able to get behind a wall again. We're just going to help us keep us alive for a little bit. We can just keep healing, though behind a wall which is going to be good for us but yeah oh smatic scored what okay i was not expecting that i said yep because i thought you know i've seen my two teammates die in the realm and i was like yep we've uh, just conceded here then semantic obviously just scores out of nowhere we're gonna better just rush these guys like crazy i pop the hot dog just in case i die i don't know where the ball has gone but somehow we end up in the back of the net so that's gonna be it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this one as i said make sure to check out my stream I'll be pushing him a nice chill push. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.